Uh, good morning, students. My name is Anastasia Mukwebo. I am the academic support coordinator. Uh, today I will be assisting you on uh, the basic My UNISA training. I will also be taking you step by step on how to locate a tutor site. Uh, as Ms. Mukupi has already uh, uh, explained, we have three different tutorial services at UNISA. The first one is the face-to-face -face tutorials. The second one is the e-tutors and the third one is the TAs. So just to recap on what Ms. Mukupi has already explained, I uh, will start with the face-to-face -face tutorials. Uh, the face-to-face -face tutorials, these are tutorials that are offered in regions from uh, for high-risk modules. Not all modules are offered because there is a certain criteria used to identify high-risk modules. The face-to-face -face tutorials are offered in the regional centers. Now, due to COVID-19 regulations, these tutorials will, will now be offered visually. Um, you need to visit, to, to, to access these tutorials, you need to visit uh, the UNISA regional pa uh, uh, pages uh, so that you can get more information on these type of tutorials. Um, then uh, now the question that follows is how do I uh, uh, access the UNISA regional web pages? The first step that you need to do, you need to go on the, you need to visit the www.unisa.ac.za and then you go to my UNISA website. On the my UNISA website, uh, I hope you can all see the red arrow, which is facing down. When you visit the, 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 the UNISA, the My UNISA website, before you can even log in, check on the gray bar there on top. You will see it says student support and regions. You need to click on that. And after clicking it, if you can see, if you can see my blue arrow there, you need to click on the tuition support. When you click on tuition support, that link will automatically take you to the DIS web, uh, 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 web page. That is where you will find all the information regarding the face-to-face -face tutorials. When you browse on that page, on the bottom of the page, you will get a web, a UNISA regional web pages link. And then after clicking the, the web page link, it will take you to this uh, uh, page where you will see all the, 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 the regions that we have at UNISA. We have the Eastern Cape region, we have Gauteng, we have KwaZulu-Natal, we have Northeastern uh, regions. Uh, the Northeastern regions, these are your um, Limpopo and Mpumalanga. Uh, we also have the Midlands regions, uh, which are the Free State, Northern Cape, and Northwest regions. And lastly, we have the Western Cape region. All this blue link that you see there next to the, the purple arrow, when you click on the region that is near to you, it will automatically take you to the regional web page. That is where you will get the most important information on face-to-face -face tutorials. When you click on that uh, uh, web pages, you will get information such as the list of modules of, of the face-to-face -face modules that are being offered for that uh, for, for, for 2021. As Ms. Mukupi has already explained that uh, not all uh, uh, modules are offered as face to face on face to face tutorials. There are certain uh, modules which are regarded as high risk modules, the modules with low uh, 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 pass rate. Those are the high risk modules. So to get the list of the modules that are offered at the region that is near you, you need to visit these web pages and then you click on the on the on the on the region that is near you or where you are located then on that regional page you will get um the list of 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 those high risk modules you will get timetables you will get schedules you will as you also uh, get access to the contact information for that particular region uh and also the directions to, 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 to the regional center. So it is important as a UNISA student to know which region you fall under and also to know which are the modules that are listed as to, as face-to-face -face, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, tutorials at, at your region. Now we move over to uh, uh, e-tutors. How do I locate the e-tutor? Remember, just to recap, E-tutorials, e-tutors are offered on my UNISA portals. These are online tutorials. They are not face-to-face. -face. They are online tutorials. 
Uh, the activation is based on uh, a minimum of 200 students, as Ms. Mukopia has already explained. Uh, unlike the face-to-face -face tutors, where even one student can get access to tutorials. Here, we need a minimum of 200 students in order for us to form a group of, 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 of an online group. Then tutorials are offered for all NQF level 5 and NQF level 6 modules. This uh, uh, list will be provided to you so that you can verify that all the modules that you have registered for have e-tutors. Um, the e-tutors work six hours per week. The schedule is posted on my UNISA tutor site. Uh, they divide these hours according to their schedule. Uh, most tutors, they work um, three, three days per week. They work two hours per day. So it is important that you check the schedule uh, on my UNISA e-tutor will be available to assist you online. We also have teaching assistants. These are TAs. Uh, the tutorials are also done online. They work similar uh, with e -tutor, as e-tutors. The only difference is that the TAs have many hours. They work many hours online. They mark assignments, but they work similar. The, 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 the tutorials are done online on my UNISA. Uh, the, the, the TAs, they offer online uh, um, uh, support uh, to, to, for only signature modules. So these ones, they don't teach all modules. It's only for signature module. Currently in the College of Human Sciences, we have only one signature module, which is the a AFL 1501. So if you have that module, please note that that module is a signature module. You are going to be allocated to a TA group online on my UNISA. You will see it, it will it will have the module code and then on, on uh, uh, um, it will have the module code, the year and also the TA, the, 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 the T and the number of the group that you are in. So that is how you can identify the teaching assistant group. So today I'm going to uh, uh, help you navigate the e-tutor site. Number one, the first step that you need to do when you when you you, uh, you 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 locate the e tutor site, you need to go to www.unisa.ac.za the uh, slash site slash myunisa. This is where you have to go. You have to that that is the Unisa web address. You go to the Unisa website and then you click on the myunisa link. It will automatically automatically take you to the myunisa land uh, uh, page. And then the first step that you need to do now is to claim your MyUNISA password. Remember, Ms. Mokupi has already explained that without the MyUNISA password, then you cannot access your e-tutor or your module site. You cannot be able to view uh, uh, the, 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 what the lecturer is posting and also what the e-tutor is posting. So it is important for you to first claim your Password. If you were once a student at UNISA and you forgot your password, you can still reset your password on this page so that you can access your module site. Login details will give you access to two sites. Number one is the module site and the group site. The module site belongs to the lecturers and all students who have registered uh, for that particular modules. They all have access to that module and can post on the discussion forum then how do you identify that this is a module site? A module site will be identified by a short code. When you log in on my UNISA, I'm gonna take you through the steps, but when you log in on my UNISA on the, on top, and on the top bar there, when you go to modules, you should be able to see the codes of all the modules that you have registered for. Um, for example, if you have registered for anthropology module, on the first year anthropology module, then the code for the module site for that particular module will be APY 1501 uh, uh, dash 21, the 21 that represent the year, which is 2021. And then the all, and then you will see dash all. That all there in red represent semester one and semester two, both combined. There are some modules we know that uh, is, uh, still reflects the S1 and the S2. So it is still the, it's still fine. You can participate in both uh, sites depending on which semester you have registered on. But then if you still, if you see all, then it's still fine. When you go, when you click on those module sites, you will still see that it has the same tool and the same information as the S1 and the S2. 
the second site that you will get access uh, to on my UNISA, that is the Google. Unlike the module side, remember I said on the module side, they are all students who have registered for that module. For example, if the APY 1501 module has 20,000 students, when you go to the module side, all 20,000 students have access to that site. When you click on the discussion forum, you'll see that it has many, many students who are interacting there. The lecturer also sometimes interact there with students. Uh, but all students have access there. So when you post something, then it means that you are talking to all the 20,000 students there on the module side. And then on the group side, you, we have a minimum of 200 students there who are interacting with you and also with the e-tutor. The difference between the two sites, if you can check there on in red, is that the APY 1501, which is the module code, still remains there, is still the same and uh, 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 you have 21, sorry for that. It, it should be 21 before the S1. So it's, 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 it's 21, which is the year 2021. Then you will have the S1 in the group site, uh, which is uh, uh, representing the semester one, or S2, which will be representing the semester two, depending on which semester you have registered the module. So they are for, for this year, because uh, we have combined the semester, we have the super semester. We have some students who, who have registered the APY 1501 in the, for the second semester, and other students would have registered the APY 1501. If you have registered the module in the S2, then your group site will come in S2. You'll have an e-tutor will be teaching you in the S2 platform. And then if you have registered the module for S1, uh, and also do not worry if your friend has an S as an S2 and then once you have registered the S1, you will get your own group. It will come in the S1 and then you also have an e tutor will be teaching you on the S1. The next slide here is to showcase how to claim your my UNISA password. Remember I said without the login details, you will not be able to to log in on my UNISA. So it is very much important that the first step if you have if you have not done so if you already done so thank you so much you are a good student those who have not yet done so you are still good but we need you to first claim your my unisa password the first step that you need to do uh, um, if you if you can all see my blue arrow there it is pointing on the right and there's number one day I've, I've i've named my steps according to the numbers so let's go to number one follow the blue arrow the number one is it's standing next to claim UNISA login. It also says forgotten student numbers and there's also forgotten UNISA password. So that link, it helps you to claim your my UNISA password. The first step that you need to do is to click under a, a, a claim UNISA login and then that page will automatically it, that link will automatically take you to the page where you need to claim your UNISA password. You need to have your student number ready and your names and your initials and everything ready so that you can put them in and then the my UNISA will assist you in generating the password. Remember when you are do, when you are generating the password, please use the characters that you can remember. Do not use the complicated letters that you will later forget. So use the numbers that you are familiar with, the numbers that you will remain that you will remember. Remember, these login details are yours until you finish your studies at UNISA. So you will not need to claim your my UNISA again for the second year and the third year. So the logins that you claim now, you are going to use them for 2022 and 2023 until you finish your studies at UNISA, as long as you can still remember your password. But then as time goes, if you forget your password, that also is not a train smash. You can still come back here. You go to for, forgotten student, uh, for, forgotten student, uh, uh, forgotten UNISA password. You click on that link and then it's going to help you generate a, a, a password again so that you can log in on my UNISA. So after you are done logging, your UNISA login details. The second step, if you can see up there, is on username. You need to put in, in that box next to username, you need to put in your student number. That is your username. And then number three, if you can see there on my screen, it says password. Then you're going to put in the password that you have generated when you were claiming your UNISA login details. Then after you have 
uh, put in your password, you need to click on number four there, which is log in. Then now you can log in on my UNISA. I always recommend students that immediately after creating your, 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 your UNISA, after claiming your UNISA login, you need to also test your my life email address. Check if it is working, check your password. The same password that you uh, they, they give you or the same password that you create yourself for, 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 for logging in on my UNISA is the same password that is gonna help you to log in on my live email address. So it is important that you save it after generating your login uh, details, you save your student number and your password. And then to access my life, please follow the green uh, arrow, which is pointing down. You can see there, there's a link to my life email so then you can click on that email address and then remember your my life email address starts with your student number all the time it's your student number at mylife.unisa.za so after you have uh, claimed your, your unisa password remember this is the same password that you are going to use to access your my life email address so it's important my life and my unisa are one and the same thing, they work together. You cannot have your My UNISA login details and not claim the My Life email because whatever that you do after logging on My UNISA is going to reflect on your My Life. I will show you as the time goes on so that you can have both. So if you have now claimed uh, for, you, for your UNISA login but you have not yet activated your I will advise that you do it now as I'm speaking so that when we finish with the station, we can assist you on the uh, for, for, uh, if you have any questions. On this ne next slide, you have claimed your login details. You have logged in. Immediately after logging in, you should have access to, you see on top, on the, on, on top of my slide on the top bar, there's my modules, which is in the orange uh, 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 box. And next to it, there's my admin. Please follow my green arrow and check where it is pointing. It's pointing on my admin and the red arrow is pointing right on my modules. So after you have logged in on my UNISA, you should be able to see these two bars. The my modules represent all the modules. That, that link is the link to all the modules that you've registered at UNISA. Let's say you have registered for five modules. When you click on my modules, you should be able to have access to all five modules. All your modules, then you need to leave your UNISA help at unisa.ac.za and attach your proof of registration. They will link you to all the modules that are not showing there. So it is important that you have access to all, all your modules as a student who's studying online because my UNISA is the only platform that you that you will use to have access to information about your studies here at UNISA. So after logging in, you will see that you have link, you have my modules link on top there next to the red arrow. Then you also have a, a, a link to a my admin, a, a link there next to the green arrow and then before you can even log in, you need to follow the arrow, the yellow arrow. Next to where it says site. And next to your site, there is there should be a name. That is where you log out when you are done. So it is important to always log out when you are finished. Remember, this is this is your life. We call it your life. Your my UNISA has carried your life. Under my admin, anybody can log in and do everything and change your registration status and everything. So it is important as a UNISA student to always log out when you are done on my UNISA. Um, after uh, 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 clicking on site, now we are going to the modules. You have logged in. You have not yet clicked anything. You've got access to my modules. You've, ac you've got access to my admin uh, link. You also have access to the sites. So before you can you can do anything, you need to click on sites. Do you see the 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 the, 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 the small buttons there next to site? That is a link. You click on that link, then it's gonna take you to where the circle is. You can see the circle on my screen. It has circled all the modules that I have. So you should also have. Uh, 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 access to all the modules. Sometimes for some students, depending on the kind of preferences that you have made on my UNISA, when you log in, before you can click on sites, you will see that there are modules that are appearing on the green bar, on the on the gray bar there on top, which is under, it's just that uh, the, the, the box is uh, it's shading all the information behind it. So 
normally before you log in just check the the the, the gray bar state the, the bar which is under my red arrow sometimes you'll find that your modules are appearing there if they are there it's fine if they're not there then you can go to the site you click on the site link then it should give you access to all these modules uh to all your modules remember i said the module site you identify the difference between the module site and the tutor site is that the module site uh will have an all or an s1 only that is the module site that is the site where you can click to, to, to check your study material, the site where the lecturer and other uh, students for that modules are at. So you can you, you can click on that mo uh, on, on that uh, modules to check. If you have not yet uh, been allocated in eTutor, it's still fine for now. We are intending on giving more students uh, uh, groups from next week. So if you have logged in now and you cannot see eTutor sites, you only uh, see your module sites, please do not panic. We are still in the process of allocating groups and your group is coming. I don't know what is happening. My, my slides are no longer moving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then now we go to the eTutor site. When you log in on my UNISA, remember you have clicked on the site, you have access to, for, let's say for example, you have registered for the APY 1501 uh, module. You can see on the, op uh, on, on the left side there, in, uh, in the site uh, uh, um, box, you can see there's APY 1501, uh, dash to one dash all that is the module site and then on the right side where the yellow arrow is pointing you can see this APY again 1501 dash to one dash s1 three e that is the e tutor site the difference between the the, the module site and the e tutor site is that the uh, on the the, the e tutor site has a, a, a number after this S1, which is the semester one, there's a number which is four or three, depending on which group you have been allocated to. And the E stands for E tutor. That one you will not find it on the module site. So it is important to know the difference between the two sites because they are both sites are important and they have their own functions. So it is important to always identify, uh, to be able to identify your E tutor sites from the module site. Now, I have shown you how to claim the MyUNISA passwords. I've shown you how to log in, how to click on sites, how to find the module site, and also the group sites. Now, let's see the difference between the two uh, 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 sites that are very much important that you will have access to. On my left, uh, there's INS 1502-21 dash to one all that is the module site ins 1502 remember i said it's the module code so that represents the module code let's say you have registered for introduction to communication science first year module then your code will be com 1501 so it will have different codes depending on the modules that you've registered for so the 22 one i said it, it's representing that semester and all is the super semester meaning it's s1 and s2 students combined the semester one and the semester two student combined and then the ins uh, and then when we go to the right side is is this is the e tutor side is this if you can look up there it's still the same it's ins 1502 or com 1502 or apy 1501 or depending on the module that you've registered so that is the short code and then followed by 2021 which is the year the semester S1, if you're registered for S2 for that particular module, it will be S2. And then the 11 is the group 11. E stands for E tutor. That is the difference between the, 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 the lecturer side and the E tutor side. Now let's look at the tools. I've highlighted the, the important tools that uh, are used on my UNISA, which you need to check all the time. On the module side, when you log in on the module side, you'll find that there's a, a welcoming message, which is the landing page, uh, page of the module site. When you click on the module site under modules, it will take you to the welcoming message. You will see there the lecturer is going to introduce 
themselves if the standard sometimes you find that the standard uh you need some message if the lecturer has not yet edited the message so it's fine you can identify it by using the code by checking the code then there will be a, a module on the welcoming message you will find the module information and also the contact details or uh, sometimes the lecturer will put the sec secretary's number, uh, the lecturer's number, and also the secondary lecturer's details so that you can contact them when you have any in, uh, uh, question regarding the content. And then on the on the uh, group site, you, when you log in, when you click on the link to the group site, you will see also that it's going to take you to the welcoming message, which is the landing page on the uh, eTwitter site. It will also, the e-tutor will also have the introduction, the background, they will explain who they are so that you do not, you, you will not feel lost when you go to the site. They will also have uh, the schedules. Remember we said e-tutors, they work six hours per, uh, in a week, two hours per day, three days in a week. So the schedule will be on the welcoming message. That is the difference between uh, uh, the welcoming message on the group side and also on the e-tutor side. On the lecturer side, there will be no schedule. But when you go to the e-tutor side, there will be an, a, a schedule with times and dates uh, on which the tutor will be engaging with students. And you will also find the rules of engagements on the page, on the landing page. So it is important that you read, you read so that you can know who your e-tutor is and uh, the times that your e-tutor will be available on, on, on Mayunisa to assist you. And then second tool, you'll find that there's announcement on the uh, lecturer site. This is a place where the lecturer will announce important information, uh, any changes on assignment dates, the examination information, any content related information will be sent to you via the announcement tool. Remember I said to you, you when, we, when, you, when you were claiming uh, the UNISA login details, I said it is important for you to also activate your My Life email address. So it is important. Everything that the lecturer will be posting under announcement tool, it will be going straight to your My Life. So before you can even uh, log in uh, on my UNISA, if you can just check your mails, you will check all the updated announcement that have been sent by the lecturer for that week. So it is important that you activate your My Life so that you can get the announcements from the lecturer and also the announcements from the e-tutor. So the e-tutors also have the uh, access to that tool. They will also announce their plans they will also send uh, 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 announcements on topics and activities that are upcoming that are going to be covered. They will also send reminders for students to participate on my UNISA. So it is important for you to always check your announcements via the My Life email, or you can log in on my UNISA. And then when you when you go to the eTutor site or the lecturer site, you open announcements to the announcements and we go to the discussion forum on the lecturer side you will see that um uh, there's also discussion forum sometimes it's only discussion sometimes you'll, you'll see that there's both so it's important that you open both and see where the interaction is taking place uh on the discussion forum on the lecturer side remember i said for example if on the ins 15 module there's 40,000 students on the lecturer side on the discussion forum you are going to find all the 40,000 students participating on the discussion forum. So there are many students there. So everything that you post, then you will, you, you, you will see the, all the 40,000 students have access to it. And then you can also access other uh, um, uh, information that students are posting there on the discussion forum. And then on the uh, eTutor site, the, uh, the, the, the benefits of using the, uh, the, 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 the eTutor as uh, the discussion forum and the eTutor site is that only 200 students participate on this tool. So there's more control. The e-tutor is more in control and it is uh, uh, his or her responsibility to respond to your uh, questions. Remember the lecturers are sometimes busy and on the, uh, 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 on the lecturer side, there are more students. So sometimes they can miss you know uh, the, the 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 topics that you are posting or the questions that you are posting there, and sometimes other students will be responding on behalf of the lecturers and all that. So it's 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 it's, it's easier for you to lose track of the question that you've posted. But on the e tutor side, as I've, I always encourage students that if you have an e tutor side. also experts on the or, or, or on the subject so if you can just utilize the discussion forum and on the e-tutor side you will see that there's more control 
you will see that the e-tutor is responding to all the, 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 the student inquiries. Remember within 24 hours, because these tutors, they work three days in a week, two hours in a week. So if they miss your, 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 your question on Monday, then it, or, 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 or on Monday, let's say they, you, you've posted your question on Monday and the e-tutor was not there, it's working on Tuesday, then on Tuesday, uh, during that time, they will log in and they will respond. So the possibility of you getting an answer on Wednesday is a high. Uh, more than on the discussion on the on the module side. So I always encourage students to use the discussion forum on the e-tutor site to engage with your e-tutor so that you can benefit from whatever that they are posting so that you can benefit also by getting responses on time. And lastly, this is to this is just to give you an overall view of how the e-tutor site looks like. If you can check there, this is the landing page that I was talking about. Remember, I said they will put in their background information, their, their names, where they've studied sometimes. They will also put in the schedule. If you can see there on my screen down, you will see that this schedule, the e tutor said that he or she will be available to assist students on Monday and also on Tuesday. And then you will you get access to the schedule and the plans and everything that uh, 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 that is important for you to study well at UNISA. And then on the left side, you will see that there are tools that I was talking about. The first one is home on the left uh, side. The second one is announcement is the one that I was talking to you about. The one where I said that the Twitter will post information and that information will take uh, will be will be uh, uh, conveyed straight to your my life email address. So even when you log in on my Unisa, you will still have access to the announcement tool. So you can open it and check the announcement that the Twitter have posted. And then there's discussion forum. Remember, the discussion forum is the most uh, important tool on my UNISA because this is where the learning takes place. This is a place where you will interact with your e-tutor. This is a place where you will post your questions and everything. And then you'll also have this, uh, additional resources. On the additional resource, you'll find that uh, e-tutors will be posting uh, um, uh, more information that you need to help you study further. And, and sometimes they also post their Twitter plans there. Sometimes some tutors also post their, uh, their, 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 their slides of the presentation, any material that will help you succeed or pass your module. And then there's also calendar there, there's logistics and, and, and site info. So that is just to give you the, 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 the overall feel of how the e-tutor site looks like. So if you don't have an e-tutor now, don't worry. Next week, we, are, we will be allocating more groups. And Ms. Mohopi has already uh, uh, given you the contact information of the department uh, uh, staff. Remember, there are six academic support coordinators. They are listed there. Please take note of the email addresses. We are uh, 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 responsible for all. For, 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 for. We, are, we are six in the, in the college, and we are responsible for different uh, departments in the college. So if you do not have an e-tutor, let's say by mid-April, may you please send us an email so that we can put you in the group. It is important that you utilize all these uh, uh, tutorial services at UNISA for you to be able to study.